What's cracking, everybody? This is your boy Necro G, back with G's True Reviews. Today we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Normally we'd be doing CD and album reviews. Today we're gonna be doing a movie review. We got a nice new independent film coming out soon, uh, made by upcoming movie producers, the Lucas Brothers, a brother duo born on the Chicago South Side. Now this movie states that it is based on a true story. So that gives it a little more depth and feel while watching it, you know, like knowing it really happened and whatnot. The movie is uh, very short with a runtime of only 7 minutes and 14 seconds, but that doesn't take away from all of what they crammed into that 7 minutes. Now, this is the story of a young African-American boy uh, coming of age as he's forced to make adult decisions due to his circumstances. Now, this movie starts off with a parade of sirens and a young boy running from them, ended up at your local dope spot and picking up a piece from his cousin to solve some domestic issues at home. Now, this movie is a, an eye-opener to the suburban America who doesn't see that, you know, stuff like this goes on every day in our urban communities. Uh, the movie even has a quote, My mom told me to stay away from guys like this, but how can I when that's all I see? Uh, it reminds me a lot of the old Ice Cube line, you know, they give us guns and drugs, then wonder why the fuck we thugs. It shows, you know, to survive in a jungle, sometimes you must just embrace being a beast. It's just the way it is. I liked a lot of the camera angles in this movie. Um, the actors seemed really professional in the sense that they weren't looking at the camera. Uh, they kept focus on their scenes like true professionals. Uh, the transitions were really good. Uh, gotta love all those slow motion smoke shots, you know. Um, I like the narrator. The only constructive criticism that I'd give is uh, I wish the voice had a little more gusto behind it. Like it was more projected to a bigger room. Uh, I have a love-hate feel on the grainy overlay used in the movie. I love it. You know, because it, it looks cool and it kind of makes you feel that street grit. But at the same time, in an HD world, I think others might think it might be like poor quality due to it not being clear. But this is super minor. And even if they didn't think it was clear, I think they would give it like a hood pass on this one. Being that, you know, the movie is so gritty itself. It's not all sunshine and minivans in the hood. You know, and this illustrates that perfectly. I like that the camera effects when he's walking down the street thinking... You know, it was some cool trippy shit there. Uh, the red overlay on the house scene was like totally reminiscent of some Freddy Krueger stuff. It really fit the scene well. And uh, the shot from the hands perspective, fucking genius, man. The twisting angles are super cool. The fighting, in my opinion, did look like it was, you know, acted out in slow motion. Uh, versus like throwing real time blows, you know, and slowing down the fighting. But uh, fighting is one of the hardest things to choreograph in a film and make look real, so it's understandable, especially being an indie film. Overall, I love that scene, though. Uh, the confrontation scene is cool. I think I want to add his, uh, some nervous sweat on his face and forehead to make it look a little more intense, but it was a good lead-up. The, the slow motion on the stepdad's mouth was cool. It was a little hard to hear some of what he's saying, but he's drunk, so, you know. Uh, you start hearing numerous auto, audio clips. I like that... Uh, it's all compiling in the boy's head and, you know, it could have been a little louder so you could hear some more of them. But overall, you know, it was pretty solid, though. The movie ends on a cliffhanger, you know, did, did he do it? Did he not do it? And, you know, all right, so here's my final thoughts. Man of the House is a short little movie. The ending's a cliffhanger that really leaves you wondering, did he or didn't he? After hearing the words given by, you know, his cousin close out the movie, I was really personally hoping to hear a gunshot right as the credits hit uh they leave it open though and that leaves it open to interpretation maybe he didn't shoot him maybe he walked away and maybe he went like ice cube and friday you know and, and, and boxed him you know maybe he said fuck it and shot the dude you know personally that's what i would have done Overall, I dug this movie. I'll give it an 8 out of 10 for what it is. I look forward to seeing uh, more work from the Lucas Brothers. If you haven't seen this movie yet, because you know, I know you have it because it hasn't come out yet, <laughs> show your local indie uh, artist some support and check it out. It'll be coming out January 1st, 2018 on YouTube, Red, and Facebook. I'll have some links here in the video, uh, right here in the description as well. Go check them out, man. Peace. Necro G. I'm out.